In the shadows of Nikon's labs, behind closed doors, a new machine is coming to life. A camera built for speed, precision, and power, but no one's seen it yet. No official name, no full reveal. All we have are whispers. Whispers about a device that's set to shake up the world of mirrorless cameras. Let's discuss the rumored Nikon ZX. At least, that's the name everyone is calling it for now. So, what's the story? Well, Nikon is rumored to be working on a camera that's set to challenge Canon's R3 and Sony's A9 Mark III, two of the fastest, most powerful cameras in the game right now. We're talking full-frame mirrorless, a sensor capable of matching Sony's A9 Mark III global shutter capabilities. But there's something different about it. Nikon's been perfecting their own take on the future of sports and action photography. And they're getting ready to unleash it. It's gearing up to take them head on. Some insiders are calling it the Nikon ZX, but remember, that name isn't set in stone. Nikon hasn't confirmed a thing yet, so this is all based on whispers from trusted sources. It could launch under a completely different name, but for now, we're sticking with ZX. Now, the big thing we've heard is that this camera is going to feature a global shutter sensor. This would be huge because it means no more rolling shutter issues, which is a pretty common gripe among photographers, especially those shooting high-speed action. This could be the key that sets the ZX apart. Imagine capturing a fast-moving subject without that warping effect. You get the shot exactly as it is, crystal clear. So, what can we realistically expect from the Nikon ZX? Canon's R3 and Sony's A9 Mark III have dominated the mirrorless sports camera scene. The R3 with its advanced eye control autofocus and the A9 Mark III with the impressive 120 FPS shooting speed. The R3 boasts a 24 megapixel stacked sensor, dual pixel CMOS AF and a fast electronic shutter. Sony A9 Mark III, same sensor size but with a twist, global shutter you're looking at zero rolling shutter, even in high-speed shooting situations. That's huge. But here's the thing, Nikon's not staying quiet. The ZX could be the global shutter beast we've all been waiting for. We're talking full-frame mirrorless, a sensor capable of matching Sony's A9 Mark III global shutter capabilities. But there's something different about it. Nikon's been perfecting their own take on the future of sports and action photography. And they're getting ready to unleash it. Let's start with the sensor. The global shutter we mentioned is a massive deal. For those who aren't familiar, traditional shutters, especially in mirrorless cameras, can struggle with rolling shutter distortion when you're shooting really fast. This is when objects start looking like they're bending or warping. With a global shutter, that's a thing of the past. Everything is captured at once, meaning crisp, clean images, even when the action is crazy fast. This puts Nikon in a unique spot. Sony's A9 Mark III is already a monster when it comes to speed and performance, and Canon's R3 is no slouch either. But if Nikon can really nail this global shutter tech, it could give them a serious edge, especially for pro photographers who need flawless, distortion-free images. Now, moving on from the sensor, we're expecting top-of-the-line autofocus as well. Nikon has been steadily improving its autofocus systems, and if the ZX is going to compete with the R3 and A9 Mark III, it's going to need something top-notch. Canon and Sony have been ruling the autofocus game lately, with incredible subject tracking and eye detection. Canon's eye control autofocus has been a hit, letting photographers focus on what they're looking at instantly. But Nikon, they've been watching, listening. If the ZX lives up to its whispers, it might pack an autofocus system that rivals even Canon's best, which can give us control over split-second moments effortlessly. Then there's video. Nikon has been quietly upping their video game over the last few years, and with the ZX, we could see 4K at 120 FPS, or even 6K, with smooth, distortion-free motion. 
With the global shutter, you get much smoother video without that annoying jello effect when panning or capturing fast-moving subjects. If Nikon can deliver 6K at 120 FPS, they'll make a serious statement to hybrid shooters who need a camera that's as good at video as it is at stills. How about battery life? That's another area where Nikon has traditionally done well. And we'd expect the ZX to offer solid performance here too, especially for pros who need to shoot all day without constantly swapping out batteries. The Canon R3, the Sony A9 Mark III, giants of the industry, no doubt. But Nikon's not playing catch up. They're ready to redefine the game and with the ZX on the horizon, the competition's about to get a whole lot more interesting. Canon's known for its advanced autofocus. Sony's A9 Mark III is all about speed, with its 120 FPS burst shooting and zero distortion. But Nikon's strength has always been its ruggedness and reliability, especially for pros who shoot in extreme conditions. If the ZX keeps that legacy, while bringing in new tech like the global shutter and fast AF, it could be the perfect balance of everything. Build quality? Expect it to be tough. Nikon cameras are built like tanks. We're talking full weather sealing, durability that can handle whatever you throw at it, from freezing cold to tropical heat. This thing is going to be ready for the battlefield. If the leaks are true, the Nikon ZX isn't just here to compete, it's here to lead. When's it coming? That's the big question, right? There's no official word yet, but the consensus is that we could see it either late this year or early next year. Well, word on the street is that the camera is scheduled to be sent for testing to 50 plus pro Nikon photographers worldwide in the first quarter of 2026. It's close, but not close enough. As for price, with all these features, we're not expecting the Nikon ZX to come cheap. If you're looking at the Canon R3 and Sony A9 Mark III, you know this level of performance doesn't come cheap. The R3 is sitting at around $4,500 and the A9 Mark III is priced at $6,000. So, where does that leave the Nikon ZX? Safe to say, we're probably looking at somewhere between $5,500 and $6,500. For pros who need top-of-the-line performance, that's expected you're paying for the latest tech. Global shutter, fast autofocus, crazy shooting speeds, all in a tough, durable body that can keep up with the pace. So, where does this leave us? Well, the Nikon ZX, or whatever Nikon ends up calling it, is shaping up to be something special, could be a strong contender in the high-end mirrorless market. With its rumoured global shutter sensor, it has the potential to change the game for action, sports and wildlife photographers. We've seen what the Canon R3 and Sony A9 Mark III bring to the table. Speed, precision and top-tier autofocus. But the ZX looks like it could go head-to-head -head with these giants and maybe even surpass them in a few areas. If the global shutter rumour holds true, this could eliminate rolling shutter issues once and for all offering distortion-free shots even at high speeds. Add to that Nikon's own advancements in autofocus, possibly incorporating eye tracking similar to Canon's Eye Control AF, and we're looking at a camera that could capture every moment with incredible accuracy. Video shooters aren't left out either. We're expecting 4K, possibly even 6K, with smooth, undistorted motion making the ZX a solid option for hybrid shooters who need both stunning stills and video performance. And with Nikon sending out prototypes soon, we'll get a much clearer picture of its real-world performance. Of course, everything is still speculative, but if Nikon delivers on these promises, the ZX could be a major player in the mirrorless camera market. Whether you're shooting high-speed sports, fast-moving wildlife, or cinematic video, this camera could be the tool that helps you nail those once-in-a-lifetime moments. Third or fourth quarter of 2026 is when we might finally see it in action. And until then, all eyes will be on Nikon, waiting to see if the ZX is truly the next big thing.
What are your hopes for the Nikon ZX? Let's discuss in the comments. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more camera news and reviews.